Does Piper need that umbrella taken off her and hit him with the nerf bat? Now, before you shout at me, yeah, she obviously needs a nerf, bruv, or go into a toxic rage in the comments about Piper. Let's look at this objectively and understand what is making Piper stand out and infuriate so many of us. But before we do that, if you've been hitting the thumbs down, not having fun button at the end of your matches quicker than Sonic runs, then check out my video where I do a deep dive into these voting buttons and their purpose. Link below in the description. Okay, so Piper is an epic brawler, so most people in ranked will have likely acquired her and got her leveled up to level 11 in most cases with star powers, gadget options and gears. And so let's review her kit to see what makes Piper, well, Piper. She has a long range shot that does more damage the further she is from a target. And the star powers are ambush and snappy sniping. I will assume that from the majority of players and from me looking at the stats on Brawlify, snappy sniping is the most common. When Piper hits an opponent with her attack, she reloads 0.4 ammo instantly which if she is hitting all her shots and mid to max range, she's going to kill the majority of brawlers, even with shield gear on and get an extra shot off or two with really good accuracy. Now, we can all arguably agree that the Piper needs to be fairly decent at aiming. Minus the gadget, we'll get onto that in a second, and we will have to be in a bad position or we dodged poorly. So skill on both sides is absolutely at play. But should someone be a max range bush sniping god, they could take Amber. Piper's attack deals 1,190 extra damage at max range when she's hidden in a bush. Ouch. Now, for gadgets, she can take Auto Aimer or Homemade Recipe. Now, assuming that most Pipers have both gadgets, they're both equally as useful. So let's start off with Homemade Recipe. On activation, Piper's next main attack will home in on enemies, a gadget used for performing those clutch shots when you need to hit a brawler with the ball in Brawl Ball, or kill the brawler holding all the gems, or to just get a sweet snipe shot practically guaranteed as long as you don't mess up the range. And then we have Auto Aimer, the absolute bane of an Edgar's existence, I am sure of it. Piper pops a defensive shot at the closest enemy, dealing 161 damage, while also pushing them back and slowing them down. So a lot going on here, and the damage is negligible, but the push back and slow for any close brawler is absolutely brutal. Accompany that with Piper's Super Popping, which jumps her a short distance in any direction, leaving four grenades, that is some nasty damage. So thankfully, no epic or mythic gear for Piper yet or hypercharge she has no hypercharge at the moment so pray to the brawl gods that's a long way off if you're upset with piper in her current state now so for the gadgets then gadget charge to get an extra gadget use is probably going to be the most common with health damage and shield all being viable okay so now we understand the build and given that she's a long range sniper surely she isn't great on close range maps well that would be true but we have this disgusting modifier in ranked time detonation which this modifier destroys certain map obstacles after every five seconds in a match until no obstacles are left and to be honest in every game mode this modifier comes up piper is certainly going to be picked and be very very useful so if you're not paying attention to this and leave her unbanned don't be surprised if she gets picked in your games then we have quick fire and this modifier passively reloads brawlers ammo whenever their attacks hit enemy brawlers and special targets this effect only takes place with linear projectiles and is not affected by dashes, damage over time and area of effect damage. So we can assume Piper's ultimate doesn't benefit from this. However, given that my understanding is that this gives you a 10% reload buff for every shot your ammo hits, along with snappy sniping star power that Piper has, you can expect a good Piper to seem like she has unlimited ammo. Lastly, we have the big friend modifier, which increases all brawlers health to the brawler with the highest health on their respective team. And given the map is fairly open, you could argue that Piper can again be used to chunk down the high health, slow moving brawlers while still being useful against non tanks, but with high health from the big friend modifier. As for maps, I'm not going to go into them in detail individually, but you will see me flash them up on the screen. But we can safely say that a large majority of the maps in ranked rotation benefit her long range playstyle, And so with this, this accompanies her very generous kit options if the modifiers weren't at play and the maps were not as open my guess is you would actually see a lot less piper my advice would be to ban her without hesitation on open maps on time detonation 
and quick fire modifiers then the conversation just becomes mute. Alternatively, pay close attention to the pick order and try to play around her with appropriate counters for the map and modifiers. And if she is picked and hope that she misses and that you've got the skills to pay the bills, son, those bills being dodging them shots like a pro. Alternatively, if you really don't want to play against her or you're not sure the probability of her being picked for the map and modifier you get, just ban her every game without fail like I do with Colette. But let me know your thoughts. How are you tackling the Piper meta? And if you had the power to nerf Piper, let me know in the comments what that nerf looks like. That's it for this one. See you in the next one, Brawl Gang. Peace!